We welcome you to Frickers. The Crestview Knights are here. Let's hear it, guys. They are excited. All right. A prolonged uh, applause, probably for you, Coach. That's right. It's for Coach, right, guys? Yeah, Jared Owens, six year. You are you're the veteran coach along with Andy Schaefer in the Northwest Conference. What's that feel like to be kind of the older statesman? Well, it's hard to believe, really. Six years are going pretty fast, but uh, you know, um, I guess we, we've gained some experience through that, those years, and hopefully, we can apply that on the field. No question about it. Uh, a great year last year, nine and four overall. That double overtime loss to Macomb in the regional final. A very good Panther team uh, that you faced back to back years in the playoffs. Now you head south, uh, Division Seven still, but you head south to face the likes, perhaps Minster, some MAC teams, uh, also Southwest Ohio. You don't think about that now, though, do you? No, not really at all. You know, you look at things just because you're curious a little bit, and it's fun to speculate this and that, yeah. and, and then the newness of it, not really knowing any of the teams down there or haven't seen them play. So uh, it's interesting to think about it a little bit in the off season. You know, in the winter time when we find out in the spring, but. You know, this time of year, we only got one thing in our mind, and that's week one. And that's Beat Parkway, right? Absolutely. James Lotzenheiser, I was tweeting with today, and he, he always has the hashtag, Beat Parkway. That's the rivalry game. And last year was close into the third quarter, uh, but you guys pulled it out, and that really gave you momentum to start the year. Yeah, every year it's a, it's a hard-hitting, tough-fought game, no matter, you know, what, what the personnel is on either side. A lot of pride by both schools in that game. And, and uh, you know, we... We focus on that from, from when our banquet start, is over till the start of the two a days all the way through. So it's something that, that uh, is in the front of our minds constantly as we try to get better. What have you liked about your team here in the preseason so far? I liked how, how they communicate with each other and how they're a fun group of guys to be, to be around and get along with each other so well. I think that uh, a sense of family, a sense of team is really strong with this group. What can you do as a coach to help facilitate that? What, what, what types of things do you guys have in place? Well, we do several things in, throughout the summer to try to encourage teamwork and try to encourage them to be around each other uh, more and force that a little bit. But for the most part, it's natural with this group. It's nothing that we have really done or have to do. Uh, so they just seem to enjoy each other. And, and uh, you know, I think the, just the positive atmosphere um, that we try to create as a coaching staff helps out a little bit as well. We'll talk with a number of the seniors here in a bit. What does really envelops this senior class? What's the characteristic that you would say, maybe a word that comes to mind when you think of these seniors? I just think of a hardworking group, um, you know, from, from the off season all the way through two a days, they lead by example, by just working their, their tails off. And, and, you know, that's all we can ask of them. Three broadcast games on the schedule right now for Crestview, including the NWC opener at Bluffton, uh, the Spencer Hill matchup, also the Ada matchup could have week nine and ten implications. But as we talk about the Northwest Conference, it's really good again. Yeah, <laughs> good depth. A little, a little bit of, of uh, coaching shifting going around, you know, with the. the Jefferson job being up and then Spencerville's new coach there being the old Jefferson coach and everything like that so and those have been the teams that have been kind of the standard for the league so it'll be interesting to see how uh, the differences there change thing maybe but uh, yeah Ada really really strong group of seniors coming back and, and a good quarterback coming back um, and all the way through you know our league is just very solid uh, from top to bottom so there's no weeks that you can really overlook. Speaking of quarterback, Drew Klein, just a junior. I had to check it. It seems like he's been playing forever, and he's still got two more years, which you're happy about. How does he control this offense now as a junior? I think the, the biggest um, progress that he's made in a year's time is his vocal leadership. I've really seen him take a, a more vocal role and uh, take charge of the huddle, um, take tar charge of drills. And, and you know he's always led by example, but that part of it's been really nice to see. Scrimmages, what do you take out of those? Besides it's the you know, physical, you get to see your team against other guys, dealing with adversity. Are there certain things you're looking for so you say, okay, we're ready for week one or, or we need to improve upon this? Yeah, I think that the first scrimmage for us Friday against Salina gave us a good idea of some fundamental things that we really needed to work on. Um, so those are the things that we're going to focus on this week um, going into the Van Wert scrimmage. And that gives us, you know, can we improve from one scrimmage to the next? Can we improve? coming into this week, you know, with our with our sights set on week one, you know, this is a huge week as far as the fundamental part of the game and, and trying to improve those skills, I think. With the Van Wert County Fair being so late, does that throw things off? Is that hard for a football coach? I talked with Tim Goodwin once and he said, I'm, I'm jealous of the Auglaise County guys. They're, they're done with their fair before it's yeah. over. How does it affect you guys? Um, it's something that we've just grown to be used to. I mean, I, I lived it growing up and, and the kids, 
uh, work hard on some of those projects and I understand that so we encourage them to, to be a part of that um, and they do a great job of, of trying to f strike some type of balance between you know being with their stuff at, at the fair but also making sure that they have the bases covered with with their football preparation as well. So the biggest issue probably is hydration and rest and, and then not going and eating all the greasy food and, and trying to be a little bit disciplined with that probably. <laughs> and you don't need any of that, right? You're, you're in good shape. Well, I try, I try to eat as much as I can, to be honest with you. <laughs> there you go. Uh, wing aiming contest, coaches, coaching staff, who wins? That's a pretty good one. I don't, I'm not sure. We haven't, we haven't uh, sat down and had that that contest before and I think coach Lotzenheiser would probably okay. be upset if I didn't mention him as the offensive line coach <laughs> there you go uh, we'll have more with the Crest United some of the seniors stopping by next we're here at Frickers it's the night preview show here on WOSN <laughs>for the start of the football season. Crestview getting ready for Parkway and we we're talking with Coach Owens about the fair food here at Frickers. They have the deep fried Twinkie now. You guys gonna try this? You can't have mine. Grant's like no. <laughs> Very healthy, healthy over there, aren't you? Healthy. There you go, that's what we like to hear. Let's start uh, with Trevor Gibson right next to me. We know the Knights have a running attack. You're part of that. How excited are you for this offense this year? Uh, I mean, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, honestly. It's my senior year, and uh, we decided we switched it up a little bit. And uh, Drew Klein's really been running it, and uh, everyone's communicating well in the line. We're all there together, and it's going to be fun. What does a team like this take from seven on sevens? Not a lot of passing. What can you guys get out of that during the summer? Uh, I mean, we just find where we're at, and uh, sometimes we realize that if the running game's not there, that we can actually fall back on the passing game if we have to. Brayden Sellers, one of the linemen, uh, center. How's the line coming together? Uh, it's coming along pretty good. We're young, but I think we'll pull through. We're working hard. Good deal. Are, are you, is the line a big eating group? You know, we got to talk about eating when we talk about the linemen. I think we could throw some food down. You've never had a formal contest, though? No, sir. Okay, that has to happen, I think. All right. You can take down Coach Lotzenheiser? I think I might be able to. You had to think about it. <laughs> we'll see about that. How about Grant Schlagbaum? Uh, tight end, offense, or outside linebacker. Tell us about the defense for Crestview. A lot of the same things we've seen? Uh, yeah, I think our uh, defense, we're coming through very strong. Everybody's communicating, doing their jobs, uh, getting everything done. I feel we'll be able to fly around and hit some people on the field on Friday nights. B Parkway. Yeah, uh, B Parkway. That's what you guys have been saying. Does it get old? You're just so excited to beat them by that final. Uh, uh, it never gets old. It's just always a tradition. Yeah. What was that game like last year? Last year, I mean, we started out it was about even through both, and then we kicked it through the third quarter and fourth quarter and just pulled the third game through and we got that trophy and took it home. Is there a drill, this is a question for any of you guys, during two-a-days that you like, something you look forward to, anything stick out? Uh, anything to make us better. Okay. Oh, the, the competitions, we're doing that a lot, and uh, everyone, we're competing and stuff, and when we have drills like that, we can find out where we are mentally and who wants to win and whatnot. Anything for you guys? Personally, uh, Alabama, the linebacker drill we do. Linebackers love that. Yeah. All right, Chris, you getting ready for Beat Parkway week number one. We'll have three broadcast games the first eight weeks uh, against Bluffton, home for Spencerville, and also home for Ada, some big NWC contests there. When we return, three more seniors join us real quick here on WSN. nine seniors for Crestview. To my left is Dylan Hicks, offensive tackle, defensive tackle, and kicker, Charles Stefanik. Stefanik. Stefanik? Yeah. All right. I'll get it right by week 10, I promise. <laughs> Wide receiver, cornerback, kick returner, punt returner, and holder. Yep. There you go. And Luke Mefford down at the end, fullback. And a linebacker, Dylan, let's start with you. Do you ever leave the field, first of all? Uh, not really. Um, usually when I 
usually when we get home, when I get home, I just like to think I'm still on the field, like still working out and everything. You're kicking the wall, and yeah. different things. Yeah. Do you punt as well? No. Okay, so you leave that for somebody else. Yeah. Do you enjoy kicking? Yeah, I, I love it. How did that come together? How did you become the kicker? Well, uh, coming into junior year, uh, I knew that we needed a kicker, and I've kind of wanted to be a kicker, looking up to like uh, Adam Vettiteri. Okay. I've always looked up to him, so just wanted to be one. Just You're like, not a Patriots fan, are you? Oh, heck no. Okay, heck well, that's no. good. No. Glad we got that out of the way. Yeah. Charles, uh, one of the wide receivers, cornerback, kick returner. Uh, you do a little bit of everything as well. You like being out there. Uh, yeah, I do like being out there. Do you ever live the field? Uh, yeah, I do. We rotate in at receivers. Okay. Okay, so you get a little rest there. How's the offense coming together from what you've seen? It's coming together pretty good. I like what we're doing right now. We have our passing game open and our running game's going through pretty good too. Very nice. Luke Mefford down at the end. Uh, excited for your senior year. What's this feel like? It's here. Uh, overwhelming. Why is that? Uh, I just a lot that we had to look up to from past seniors. Yeah. Did you pick some stuff from them about leadership and how you're kind of doing your stuff? A little bit, but I'm quiet, so yeah. it's a little hard. <laughs> I understand. Uh, Charles, let's talk more about Beat Parkway Week. You focus on it so much throughout the summer. Uh, what's that like? Uh, it's kind of fun because we're like doing, we're not worrying about other teams, just Parkway, and we're getting having fun with practice and stuff. We do hit, when we do hitting drills, we get hyped up, and then we got one of our main leaders, Trevor Gibson always reminding us that Parkway Week's come right around the corner and gets everyone excited and then Praxis is way more enthusiastic. Don't get into NWC play until uh, the fourth week in the season. Do you like those three non-conference games that kind of get you going? Uh, yeah, it's, it's really fun because once, it, once those three weeks are over, then we just start focusing on the NWC. But once we're in the offseason, we're really focused on Parkway because <laughs> we're lifting weights. We always look up at the board, and it, it's counting down. You got to, the clock, right? Yeah, it's counting down every day. All right, well, we'll have highlights of that one. Week one on the Sports Report, and three broadcast games coming your way as well. I want to thank Coach Owens and all the guys here at Crestview and Frickers as well for hosting us. It's, it's been the Crestview Night Football Preview Show here on WSN. <laughs>